Life is about opportunities, creating them and embracing them. And for me, that was the Olympic dream. That's what defined me. That was my bliss. Benjamin Franklin once said, tell me and I'll forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I'll learn. My job as a keynote speaker is to ensure that every member of the audience is personally involved in my presentation. I was on a training bike ride with my fellow teammates. We'd been on our bikes for around five and a half hours when we got to the part of the ride that I loved and that was the hills because I loved the hills. And I got up off the seat of my bike and I started pumping my legs and as I sucked in the cold mountain air, I could feel it burning my lungs. And I looked up to see the sun shining in my face. And then everything went black. A great keynote is more than inspiration. It's an experience. It takes the audience on a roller coaster of emotion inspired by key takeaways and lessons learned. But most importantly, it instills in them a newfound commitment to redouble their efforts in life and tap into their potential. I'd been hit by a speeding utility truck with only 10 minutes to go on the bike ride. I was airlifted from the scene of the accident. By the time the helicopter arrived at Prince Henry Hospital in Sydney, my blood pressure was 40 over nothing. I was having a really bad day. <laughs> so I decided that I would make another choice. And that was to accept not only my body, but the circumstances of my life. And I thought to myself, maybe rock bottom is actually the perfect place to start. An aeroplane flew over my house. And I thought, if I can't walk, then I might as well fly. I learned to navigate. I flew around Australia. And then I became an aerobatics flying instructor. I now know that it wasn't until I let go of who I thought I was that I had the freedom to create something completely new for my life. When you choose courage in the face of fear, you defy the things that hold you back from greatness. I want my audience to take something special from my message, to go away and think deeply about their lives, to call upon their innate resilience so they're changed as a result. Continue to dream. There's power in dreams. When you're out there living your dreams, you're dragging everyone along with you. And that's how we change the world. I want to share with them the tools and the techniques to make a meaningful difference in their lives moving forward, both personally and professionally. And if we are to move towards our collective bliss, it's time we shed our focus on the physical and instead embrace the virtues of the heart. So raise your straws if you'll join me. Thank you.